Hey guys, it's Hollywood here for Goodwin Promotions. Today we're talking to a brand new signing with uh, Goodwin Promotions. That's Ryan Taylor. Ryan, how are you doing today? Very good, thank you. Yeah, just come from work and uh, yeah, it's good to, good to see you guys coming down. So. Yeah, really, really good to talk to you today. Um, there's been lots and lots going on in your life in the last year. Um, had a bit of a tough one last year. You were a Southern Area title um, in December. A bit of a tough fight for you. What, what's been going on since then? Um, yeah, uh, I just decided to have a break from boxing, to be honest. Um, I've gone back to my previous job because I went full-time professional boxer. Um, I've gone back to, to work, thanks to my boss, Simon Robson. Um, he, he's always supported me throughout my fights. Um, and he's said, uh, come back to work. So I have, but now I've decided to, uh, to fight again. So I'm, I'm, doing the, I'm working full-time in professional boxing. So it'll be hard, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Big switch going from being able to focus entirely on your training all the time. Now you've got to worry about work and trying to squeeze training in. And, and how's that challenge been so far? Yeah, it's been a challenge, to be honest. I mean, I'm up early. Um, I've got to bed late now because after work, I'm going down the gym. So, But that's, that's life, you know. I'm, I'm doing it because I want to do it. Um, I've got the passion back for boxing, you know. You, only a boxer would know how, if you're doing it since a kid, you can't just leave the sport, really. It's always in you. You know what I mean? So, so I've gone back because I, I want to I wanna have another go. Yeah, I was going to say, how, how is that? Because, I mean, even, even on my level, um, training the way I train, and then eventually I you know, get to an age where it, just, it hurts too much. <laughs> I just can't keep going. Um, but I really, I really sort of miss that, that physicalness of, of training all the time and, and you know, being able to mix up with other guys. So um, that's got to be rough when you take a step back and, and you just can't wait to get back in, can you? No, you can't. You know, it's, I've still got a hunger about me, and... Um, I'm young enough. I'm 26. I've been boxing for 14 years. I just needed a break. Me making nine stone nine used to, you know, kill me. It, it knocked life out of me in the end. I made it right once and won the title, but after that I couldn't make it again. I grew. I grew. So um, yeah, now I've stepped up away, and I just see where my natural weight lies because I haven't got to make a category at first because um, it won't be for a title. So I just see how it goes. Yeah, well, that was going to be the next thing I was going to ask you is about how it is moving up weight. I mean, clearly you take a step back from boxing. Um, when you're training a lot, your, your diet is is such because you've got to, you know, fuel the fire, so to speak. Um, you kind of step back, and, and, and how has that all worked? And like I said, you've, you've, you've kind of gone up a weight. Um, but how has your body changed in training and everything since you've taken back? Well, uh, since I've um, had a break from boxing, which has been about 10 months since my last fight, um, I completely forgot about boxing. I mean, I train every day anyway, um, but I wasn't doing as much boxing. I was lifting weights. I was going to enjoy life. Um, but now, you know, I've had enough of that now. I want to fight again, so let's go. That's it. Yeah. Really so, so have you been, I mean, even though you've stepped back from yourself, have you been, have you been still a boxing fan? You've been watching boxing um, while you've been away? And, and if so, are there any guys that you've been particularly looking forward to, to you know, getting back in and, and maybe meeting in the ring? To be honest, um, since I was take, took a break from boxing, I've, not, I've literally watched no boxing. Um, for after 14 years, every day of your life, non-stop training for two, three times a day, watching it, you know, it, it just got too much. I just... Yeah. Needed a break altogether, analyzed a few things, went about back to work. Work's my priority now. Um, and you've not got to worry so much because you've not got to worry when the next pay's coming in. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you've got more of a steady income. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot to be said for that, isn't there? Yeah. And, and so I, I talked to Steve earlier, and he said he's so excited to have you on board. Um, really looking forward to, to just getting involved and, and really helping you in your career. Um, targeting, I think, December the 13th for, for your debut with, with Good and Promotions. Um, so there would be lots and lots of training going into that. So how do you feel about a fight coming up um, looking to December the 13th? Yeah, no, no, I'm ready for that. Um, like I said, I, I was with Tony Sims before. Uh, he trained you during the day. He was my manager. I used to work with uh, go on matchroom shows, but I've, since that, stepping back, um, I fought. I, I actually fought on a Steve Goodwin show two and a half years ago, right. and it was a great show back then. And I said to I said to Steve, I said, in the future you'll be it'll be going even further. And he's he's shown that. You know, he's had Kevin, Josh on the team now, um, and he's just going forward all the time. So it was a good person to go with. Yeah, absolutely. Goodwin's just gone from strength to strength. 
I'm really looking forward to calling your name on the 13th of December um, on that show. Thank you so much for chatting with us today. Really, really great that you're on board. Oh, thank, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Taylor.